Uh, without this lady, I probably wouldn't be here right now. She put her arms around me and us back in the turbulent times of the early 1990s. We were very intimately involved in the gang truce movement. And we would go to her, her office and she would just talk to us. And there were no cameras around. She would walk through the so-called worst parts of the community uh, in the middle of the night with us. And I never met anyone. In fact, she reminded me of a female Malcolm. <laughs> Give it up for the first black president, as far as I'm concerned, Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Yeah. I've always said, I've been saying that for 30 years. <laughs> this is my president right here. I love Obama, but you know. But I want you to know there were some young people who heard him. And one of those young persons was in my office when he decided 30 years ago that he was going to make sure we honor Malcolm X. He's standing right next to me, Tori Reese, Torrance Reese, 30 years ago. He made this decision and he stuck with it. All of the members, the board members of Family Organization, raise your hand. Give it up for the Family Organization, y'all. But I have to go back 30 years ago. And where, where's Aaron Hall? Come on, Aaron. This, this is the one of the first students that I taught at Audubon Middle School 20-something years ago. And he's now become the new executive director of the YMCA, the Crenshaw YMCA. Aaron Hall. He's going to say a few words before I continue. Good morning, everybody. It's great to see y'all here today. I just want to say that in the CMA and BMA program, Tori made sure to teach us everything that the schools refused to teach us. So we knew everything about Minister Malcolm before we even got to high school. So even though today is a great day and we appreciate y'all for supporting this, make sure that you all continue to support the CMA and BMA program because that's where lives are being changed. Thank you. Now what is the lesson in all of that? The lesson in all of this is if you really care about something, you've got to be willing to fight for it. You've got to be willing to take the licks. You've got to make the sacrifices in order to get others to see that you're serious. When they see that you are serious, they will join with you. This celebration, this naming, is all about taking charge. You don't have to ask permission. No. You don't have to say, can I, should I, will we do this? Right. When you are a, a Tory Reese, you decide that something is wrong. And something is wrong because you've been listening uh, to a voice that spoke directly to us. He spoke to young black men in particular. He spoke about the fact uh, that you were back then targeted by the people that we pay to protect us and to serve us. He knew then that young black men were deemed to never have a job and from the cradle to the grave in prison. Well, thank everybody. There's a lot I could say, but the Sea of Man, Be a Man program, the Princess and Queen programs that we run are the reasons that we honor Malcolm. There are young Malcolms coming up right now. And those students are out here right now. Sea of Man, Be a Man students. Step up, come just for one second, let them step up. Um, these are the young brothers at Animal and at Lock High School, Dr. Reigns and I teach. So give these young brothers a hand, put your arms around them, they need our help. We're bringing them to a, a dinner on June, June the 8th. We need your support. Thank you so much. Love, peace, and soul. FamilySoul.org. See a man, be a man program. Intervention, mentorship, and elective coursework for high school students. For the past seven years, our most impactful program, See a Man, Be a Man, has been serving a select at-risk group of young male minority students at Lock High School in the West Community of Los Angeles and Animal High. Students meet with See a Man, Be a Man staff and program partners five days a week for an in-school class where they receive course credit through the implementation of our award-winning nine-point curriculum. This course engages students in all four years of their high school process and ensures that they have goals and are achieving them through the course of their matriculation. Oh, they came on uh, last Saturday, seen y'all sales in the news? No. Yeah, so. Oh, they on, on the front page of the newspaper. Hold on, where you find that at? Where you my mama? Where the newspaper at? I pray that all of you become activists to some degree and work to change these conditions 
so that you don't have to worry about somebody pulling out a gun and shooting at you just because of virtue of where you live or what you're wearing. When you think about it, that's some crazy stuff, man. That's sick. All right, so let's go on. Anybody else want to share before we go on to the next piece? Anybody else want to share? Something on your heart, man, that happened? Go ahead, please. Being homeless before. You were homeless? Yeah. Yeah. How long did that last for? Um, a couple months. A couple months, yeah. Because yeah. we were just in a homeless shelter or something like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that stays with you a long time also. That also something I experienced in my life. Uh, not having a home. It's a, a really terrible thing, man. You know, not, not feeling safe and stuff like that. Uh, so this is why, uh, this is one of the reasons that we went to Charles Junior University, and we're getting a great response. Um, you guys might not know it, but a lot of y'all are being cheated and mistreated and discriminated against. Uh, I want you to write down two or three of the best moments in your life, um, because. This is what allows us to balance out our lives. We are going to have those rough moments in life. But if we could actually, and some people, man, they tend to focus on the dark side of life. You know, um, in the movie about Malcolm X, there's a scene where uh, his teacher, Elijah Muhammad, is talking to him about life. He pulls out a glass of water, and the glass is only half full. But he, he challenges Malcolm to see, if, if, is this glass half full, or is it half empty? Now, if you say the glass is half empty, that tells you something about your philosophy in life. Because you're looking at the negative side. The glass can be half full or half empty depending upon your life attitude. If you feel like it's half empty, then maybe uh, some things have happened to you that you haven't gotten over, that you haven't been able to deal with. Y'all dig what I'm saying? Uh, so I want to challenge you guys to write down two or three things that are beautiful things that happen in your life. The root curriculum consists of Politics, spirituality, family, economics, culture, health, career, personal responsibility, and education. So we all have suffered loss already, man. Who else had the hand? What you got? Um, I have to watch a dude die. You too? That's somebody you know? No. You just saw it happen. Yeah. You want to go into a little deep on it? Like, where did it happen? Right on the street. It was on, last year. On the street? Yeah. Was it a long time ago? No, it was last year. It was just last year? Yeah, you ever think about it, it ever comes into your mind? Try to forget about it, push it out your mind. But you didn't really know the person, so no. it's different when you know the person or not. Um, it doesn't always have to be about death. Who else has anything, a traumatic moment in your life that you had to deal with? Go ahead, brother. When I was like seven, my friend, we were walking in the alley and then some gang come to us saying what section you're from. We don't know what to say. Uh, so the guy, he just started shooting at us and his, like, his companions started shooting at us. And I made it out alive, but my friend, he didn't make it out alive. Now, how, how, long, how long ago was this, man? Like 2017, 2016. So right now you're how old? Four, 15. So you, back then you were 10? Somewhere around 10 years, somebody's shooting at you at 10 years old. Yeah. Now, I, I know I know. for some reason some people find this kind of, I don't know what's funny at all. I, I really don't understand that. All I know is that I pray that none of you guys have to ever be shot at again. I pray that you never have to see that. Evidence-based practices such as cognitive behavior therapy, trauma-informed care, and client-focused care are embedded within the programmatic approach. Within our curriculum, each core life area of the program is a standalone unit with a working definition set of activities and measurable deliverables. We're, going, we're about to get to the chicken in just a second, but we, we all have to write this down to earn the chicken. By the way, this is fried chicken fried, right? Everybody who's happy with fried chicken fries, just give a little clap for fried chicken fries. <laughs> chicken is real good. The reduction in suspensions is 76%, and the decrease in gang involvement and incarceration is down 95%. Yeah. 